What next for Liz Truss? His three scenarios for the premiership. Liz Truss' position as prime minister is precarious, with speculation abounding over whether she will be ousted within months or will continue to fight to lead the Conservatives to the next general election. As Tory lawmakers bicker over whether to kill or save their careers, the prime minister is focused on keeping his radical new agenda from being derailed by divided political parties. While unpredictable events like the Queen's death, the COVID pandemic and the war in Ukraine tend to disrupt the best political plans, here are her three possible scenarios for Truss' future. Increase. Worst case scenario, with the echoes of Tory discord ringing in her ears long after the meeting, Truss is forced to bow to all wings of the party. The trickle-down economics agenda is proving to be too divisive and the Prime Minister has said he would abolish the 45p tax rate before a U-turn transition was forced. In the meantime, we face the prospect of further looming defeat in major legislation. Criticism of the WIP office has increased, with the government again accused of being erratic about the concerns of Tory MPs and repeatedly ignoring the cabinet's shared responsibilities when ministers voice their concerns. Ng. Resignations and layoffs only add to the confusion. Meanwhile, the cost of living crisis deepened, inflation continued to rise and the Conservative Party plummeted in polls. This has led MPs to hold hands and plan how to secure their seats in the next general election. Some believe the Conservatives have plenty of time to recover, or at least avert the party's worst performance since 1945. They are weighing their options. Rules laid down by the Backventure Commission in 1922 prevented Truss from receiving a vote of confidence during her first 12 months in office, so the Tory rebels decided to give her a vote to retire by Christmas. Devised more and more ingenious methods. This includes pressuring committees to change the rules and allow votes of no confidence. This is a nuclear move not achieved even during the long demise of Boris Johnson or Theresa May. But both needed to wield a sword in the first half of the election cycle, as the next election approaches, the men in grey suits may need rule changes to avoid the party's electoral indifference for several cycles. Another option advertised by some Tories is to repeat his 2003 vote of confidence against Ian Duncan Smith. This has the same effect of allowing parliamentarians to show that they have lost faith in their leaders, but circumvents rules prohibiting votes of no confidence. Government forces aim to submit as many unreliable letters as possible. His 10% threshold for this faction has been put on hold until the end of his first year in trust, but they are eyeing his 178 seats, half of the MPs. Once that number is reached, it becomes clear that there is not enough support for trust to continue, and trust is terminated. The leadership contest continues, but should be much shorter than last time. Candidates could be instructed to circumvent the need to vote for legislators and promise that the one he finished second in the parliamentary stage of the contest, like Truss, would be eliminated. I have. Medium scenario, after an eventful first month in office, Truss' speech at the conference demonstrates his commitment to financial discipline and traditional conservative values. Gathered enough support to stave off an immediate rebellion. She continues to vigorously push her growth agenda and many of the thorny issues that have plagued her so far will be addressed in time for the medium-term growth plan to be unveiled by Prime Minister Kwasi Kwarten in the next six weeks. 4,444 Tory lawmakers decide to either convince themselves that bad poll numbers are a natural middle-of-the-road depressing during a difficult winter, or make things worse by constantly criticizing the trust. To do. Despite the tight cost of living, financial support for people and businesses will be welcomed this winter, further increasing support for trust. Markets, meanwhile, are unfazed by promises to offset the huge cost of debt through cuts in public spending and efficiency savings. Some back ventures continue to oppose them, but I don't feel offended enough to go public. Truss is past Christmas, this time with more tax cuts for low-income earners in mind, it has struggled into the spring, but is still lagging behind in polls, with Tory campaigners warning the party faces another series of local elections. Calls for her resignation have become deafening as more councils turn their backs on conservative rule in the heart of the Southwest. Confident that he became the sole survivor of the Cameron administration in the cabinet, Trust defends his convictions and gets out of the meeting suspension struggle. She is willing to lose popularity because she believes her plans will pay off. The technological recession of two quarters of negative growth was averted. With a deadline to hold general elections only in January 2025, Truss has plenty of time to wait for the economy to start growing again. We see an increase in residential construction, a surge in business in the investment zone, and a 2.5% growth target. Prime Minister's critics are silenced, she claims the gamble has paid off and she is stronger and more assertive. The government is pushing for radical policies, 
including the reinstatement of lower income tax rates, as well as plans to reduce the tax burden on low income earners. Opinion polls are picking up as the trust growth agenda is welcomed and voters are still avoiding the alternatives proposed by labor leader Kiel Sturmer. With old leaders battling distant memories and Rishi Sunak firmly on the back bench, the trust will remain at the helm of the party and lead to the next general election.